Hello, back in Germany again for the third, no, fourth time and this was to have the um, osseo parts put on my leg. Um, it's Thursday now, I arrived on Wednesday and um, luckily was able to get into a hotel and then um, I came here at 10 o'clock and met with the um, prosthetic team or the technical team and they fitted the part. Now, they <laughs> I wish I'd have filmed it, but there's a lot of bashing with a rubber hammer and connecting parts. It feels like a Meccano kit, you know, like they're fixing a, a car to your leg, you know, bashing and screwing and it vibrates through your leg as well. Boom, you go, mm, boom. It doesn't hurt, it just feels really uncomfortable and weird. All right, now the part that I've got on the leg at the moment, which I'll show you. Can you see that? It'd be better when I stand up. Now, I'm going to be getting a new bit on the bottom of there. Uh, that's for the alignment. And um, that's only temporary, the one that I've got on the moment, uh, just so that I can do physio. When I go back to the UK, I have to make an appointment with Pace and then um, they will do physio with me. I've been told to stay on my crutches for six months and not to do any twisting whatsoever because like we've said before, that will um, break the connection between the bone that's fused into the metal that's in the leg. Um, I've got my sexy shorts on at the moment so that I can show you my Yorkshire white leg and the um, the connection basically that I've got on at the moment and just standing up is just brilliant. Um, oh also, new hair. <laughs> and I just got this done just to cheer myself up and um, so yeah, I'll, uh, I'll show you the leg. Gently does it. And if I just step back so you can put my leg into shot. Oh, right, so as you can see, it goes in and then down that thing that I was talking to you about. And the, what I affectionately call, got a drip tray here which is for the uh, leakage which is coming out of here still now that is minimal and you can take this off or you can cut it down it's up to you what you want to do and also this looks awful <laughs> but they are uh, in four weeks when i come back they're putting me one of these sort of covers on this section here so it all looks black and good and covered up um, just gently walk forward so you can see you get a better view of it. Yeah. So this section here is the section that they're going to replace in four weeks' time with something which is a bit more flexible, they said. But at the moment, this is just so I can learn to wait there and have to use my crutches six months and actually just standing up is just so weird there's no pain you'd think that i would get pain around here but i don't um putting weight on i don't get any pain either um ignore the white thigh <laughs> um yes yeah, so there's no pain you can just feel the you can feel the um, the underside of my foot when I press down. It's a strange sensation. It's like if you bang your elbow constantly on the wall, that vibration you can feel on the end of your fingers. Imagine it is like that. You're given this little gadget, which is just an Allen key. It's magnetized. Uh, it's got five Newton meters 
on, which we know from our different bits and pieces here, these have different Newton torque settings. If you go over them, it'll snap. Now, you're given this gadget to help you take this leg off, and this is how you would normally take the leg on and off now, forever. Um, first things first though, is the weight of doing that. I'm still nervous and think that it's gonna snap here at the bone, but it's just something I've gotta get used to. They assured me that's not gonna happen. So to take it off, I loosen it. And then it's currently got a red dot on it. I turn that to the green dot. And then pull. Oh, that feels lovely. After having it on all day. Oh, that's a feather. And then to put it back on, put it, click it onto there. There's the green dot. And then turn it to the red dot, or as far as I can. And then click it shut with the Allen key. Okay. Okay, so that's what I've got at the moment. So I come back in four weeks to have that other part fitted. And I just want to do a big shout out to Eva, um, who was part of the technical liaison team. She was absolutely brilliant. Helped me from meeting with the technicians um, to translating, um, supported me all the day. Um, followed me from different offices, helping me get different bits of information done. Um, saved me looking up the things on my phone and Google translating every two minutes. She was really friendly and really helpful. I would really recommend her um, for, yeah, for any help. And so, four weeks, we'll be back again.